Hello guys, I am back because I had some sort of a, I don't know, I just had something flash in front of my eyes and I thought that's something I want to paint. So, I know you're not used to me doing abstracts, but we're going to do it anyway. So, with a big brush, I'm putting on um, white, this is titanium white, with a little bit of medium, it's gloss medium, so I'm wetting, sort of wetting the canvas, not wetting the bed, but the canvas. <laughs> yeah, I bet you got a chuckle out of that. Um, so, that's sort of what I'm looking for, maybe a little bit more here. You're not seeing anything, and neither am I. No, now it's going to come on. So, what I'm going to do, these are my colors. So this is uh, Naples Yellow, because it's the warm sort of a beige. And there's a lot of titanium in it. And this is a sort of a Selim color, which I made, which has uh, Naples Yellow, and a tiny bit of orange, then a lot of titanium in it, and then I didn't really think it was intense enough, so I put a little bit of burnt sienna in there. And this is a really nice blue, but we're gonna wait with this one, but this is a phalo blue with a really a lot of titanium. So what I'd like to do is sort of have this background and now we're going to come in with the smaller brush because we do want a lot of light and all you have to do is really you know just go crisscross all around your color I'm going to put some white on here There's something in it, which I really hate when something gets in the paint. There it is. Okay. It's gone. And what I usually forget is um, the sides when I'm doing this kind of painting. Which I should really do right now. Just do the sides a little, take it with the same color. Because later on, if you want to match it, that's not going to work. You will really see it. So there you go. Now, I want to keep this color in one place. So you don't go all over the place with this. You just do a little dabs like that. And let it go over the side a little bit, then clean off the brush and come in with the white. See how it nicely it blends in there? That's sort of what we're looking for. Clean off the brush again. So it, it it does have a look that it's sort of sort of like clouds, something like that. And when this is dry, because I'm gonna help it along because I do want to finish this off today, but this is gonna be. Um, I don't know, I think about two and a half hours, something like that. That's how long this is going to take. So I will be speeding it up here and there because, uh, well, that's just because it has to do that. Speed it up. So we're just dabbing this in. And 
every once in a while when you're dabbing, you do have to clean your brush because otherwise it just doesn't work as well. There's a nice little cloud going on. And like Bob Ross would say, we're going to give it a little friend right there. So that's a little friend. There you go. Okay. That's for the first, oh, no, I got something going on there I don't like. See that where it's a little bit darker? That's usually where you forget to pat it down. So right now I'm going to finish off this first layer. And just like I'm doing right now, that's how I'm gonna finish it. And we're just gonna leave that nicely on the canvas. Well, I might do a little bit of that yellowish. That might look really nice. But remember guys, this is only the first layer, so there's gonna be a lot going on, but this is only the first layer. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, this is pretty much dry because I uh, helped it along with my hair dryer. And now I want to have, down here I need some blue, which is gonna go really nicely with the salem pink. And of course we're gonna brush that in like we did with the other ones. I'm gonna help it along a little with a bit of water and then we're gonna go again because we really want to lighten it up. Like that. Use a little bit more water. Because I do want some sort of a tight little thing going on here. Like that. Oops. But I don't want those, you know, brush strokes in them. So that's why I'm sort of dabbing along. And there you see the nice outline that is starting to form. And it helps when you get a little bit more moisture on your brush. There you go. <clears throat> okay. That's it. Gonna sort of make it fade now. I'm gonna fade it out. There you go. 
Oh, where all the Holland is, I just, I see the uh, notification in my uh, monitor, but we're going again with the COVID. It's really awful. That's how many people are going, getting tested and they're tested positive and it's a really big deal over here. I have a little hair in there, which I want out. There it goes. Okay. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to let it dry again because I need it to be dry because now we're going to be putting handwriting on top of it. So, see you in a bit. Okay, it's dry and this is what I'm going to be putting on it. This is uh, printed with a laser jet printer and I mirrored the handwriting because of course we want it to go that way. I like it that way. And what I'm going to do is try it with gloss medium. Because I do have um, the really thick stuff, but it, it just is too thick, I think. So I'm going to put a nice layer on the paper. But I do think it has to be a little bit thicker. For it to work. Okay. So we're going to put that on here in the middle like that. Okay, I think that's, uh, I just want to help it a little bit. Ooh, that's not going to do my canvas good, but we'll tighten it up again. See, I already see that it's letting go right down here. So we're going to put a little bit more on it. Now I did it again. You cannot do that. <laughs> what I just did, don't do that. Because when that dries and you put water on to rub it off, you won't be able to rub that off. Now I have to make sure I get that off. That's so stupid. Okay, well, we'll just have to see. Otherwise, we'll get in with a little razor blade or something and just make sure it comes off now now we're going to give it a good pause because we uh, have to let this totally dry there's no sun in Holland today lots of rain though we had some real serious flooding but not where I live so we're going to let this dry and I will be back when it's dry laters Okay guys, I am back. It has been a day or two, but right now we're going to take off this uh, top layer. Oh, and I think I'll have to see where, where I put that uh, binder. So uh, it still has some on it. Just let it sort of soak in a little bit. That might be a little problem to get that off, but we'll see. We'll just let it soak for a bit. Okay, I think it's ready to come off now. So I had a few emails 
of people a little bit worried about the flooding that's going on. And I can tell you that where I am, there's absolutely nothing going on. No flooding, not a lot of water. So uh, that's good. It's all sort of south in uh, Holland and I'm more in the middle. But you know, Germany and, and Belgium, they were hit much harder than we were. They, uh, right now, they're up to a hundred and, I think 105 deaths, 1300 people missing. But that is also because there's no communications because the power lines are down, that kind of stuff. Okay, that looks okay. Get that off. I'm doing it with my nails. Although, nails. I am biting my nails lately because of the financial thing about the uh, mortgage. They are so slow. Really awful. But... Hope we'll get it done next week. I was hoping for this week, but that's not going to happen. So, um, when you do this, uh, of course, you have to make sure that you use a uh, laser printer. And um, if you're doing this on the uh, canvas, make sure to put something under it. So that when you push on it, you don't push really down on the canvas because that'll make it really wobbly and bulgy and I don't know, just not good. Okay, that's about the last of the thick stuff. But don't think that you're ready when you got the thick stuff off because then you still have to do another with a sort of these things, you know, the green spongy things. It has a sponge on the uh, on the front, and on the back it has that. See how much comes off? It's a lot. So the thing is that we don't have to worry, you know, if we take some of the writing with us because we are going to um, be painting over it anyway. And then especially over the edges that you don't see where it starts. So don't worry about that. Okay, I think I'll uh, let that dry for a bit. Be right back. Okay, we're back and um, I dried this off. And we're going to see if we're going to, what we're really going to do right now. Here, well, you can't see it, but I'm mixing a little bit of paint. And what I want to do is come in with a little bit more intense color. And I do need my white. And I was going for just a little bit of, um, I don't know, I wanted to do some cloudy thing, but now I'm not sure about the cloudy thing. So what I'm putting on is just big splotches of color, and especially over the edges, you know, that you can't read, so you can't see where it starts or where it finishes. A little bit more color. Now we're going to put one down there, and one down here, which I kind of like. That's it. And then we're going to come in with the other color. Going to get a little blue on there. Start with a little bit of light blue. And 
And right now I'm just trying to get some sort of a, I don't know, a balance, I guess you could say that. So I want some more white down here. And down here. That's that. A little bit more blue up here. A little bit more color down there. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I want some more blue down here. Maybe down here. Just to balance it out just a little bit there. Okie dokie. Now, the thing is that um, I'm going to be putting another uh, sort of stencil thing on top of it. And um, I'm just looking at it if there's not too much writing on it, but I think that it's okay. I'm sort of thinking it's cool. But I do want some dark to compensate the writing. So I'm going to do that, I think, with Payne's Gray. But I'm going to put it on... Not with a brush, but with something else, and I'm not sure yet. So let me think about it while this dries. Okay, before I put on um, the Payne's Gray, which I just mixed with a uh, heavy gel, I am putting on some structure paste with color to sort of make the, uh, the, the little bit of that I see from the print go away because it's standing up just a little bit and I don't really like that. So what we're doing is just putting on a little structure which I do really like. As you can see here that makes it just that little bit more interesting. Not too much though. But just enough that we see, don't see those uh, little pieces of paper, you know, where it goes into the, uh, the canvas. So that sort of gives it a little bit of extra. There you go. Here a little bit. Now, structure paste is something that I would really say, you know, it has to be in your little stash, your medium stash. And let me get the thing what it is. Structure paste, fine. And it goes a long way because I've used it a couple of times and it's really nice to have, build up some, you know, just some contrast and some feel some 3D effect so that it gives you just that little bit extra a little bit down there and of course you don't want to just do it on there but you want to spread it out a little bit there we have some maybe there just to make it a little bit more interesting those. Let's see if I really like it like this. Maybe here a little bit more. Just a little bit down there. And I think I'd like a little bit lighter color also. So all you really do is get a really little bit on your palette knife like that, just a little dot, and then you sort of mix it in with your color, and it's going to give you that little bit of extra height, making it just a little bit interesting. See that's a really light salmon, which I sort of think is cool. 
we'll give it a little bit down here. Okay, not too much. You don't want to overdo it though. But you do want, want a little bit of balance, you know, just to give it a little bit of balance. What I would like is for it a little bit down here. A little bit, a little bit that. There you go. I think that's it. Now I, I need this to dry because I'm going to come in, like I said, with my... Um, um, paints gray which is really as you can see really stiff right now because I'm going to use this on a stencil and I've been going through my stencils I I first I did I wanted to do these big blotches of flower flower like things but maybe not maybe this time I'm, I'm gonna just tone it down a little bit so I was thinking this a little bit here a little bit down there and then I want to come in with some uh, of this color and maybe even let it drip down a little bit I'm not sure about that but we'll see so um, I'll l let this dry for a while and I said this might take a bit so I'll be back okay I helped it along with the hairdryer so um, I'm going for this one because I have been looking at my other ones you know I was thinking more organic looking, more flower looking, and I had another one with the flowers, but I'm thinking just do that. This is, yeah, this, otherwise it's going to be too busy. So uh, I'm getting my Payne's Gray mixed with Thick Gel Medium because it is going to stay a little... Oh, there's a hair in there. We don't want that one in there. It is going to be a little bit raised, but let's see. We don't want it all over the place, though. And not really totally covered. Let's see how that works. That's kind of cool. Then we want down here, we want a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that paste on there. That's not enough. I think we will leave it like that I was going to do one more but nah let's not do that because I'm going to come in with some color and some drips and if I put even more on there it'll be too busy so okay I'm thinking maybe I take off that, you know, those little dotty things. But it does sort of give a sort of a grungy look. Goes very well with the writing, so I'll just leave it on there. A uh, good thing would be to dry it, though, because just my luck to be laying it with my, you know, glove in it or something like that. But we'll see. Now yeah, let's just do our thing. So what I want to do is use a smaller, let me look for a smaller brush. Or should I do a square brush? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Because I, nah, this is not going to work. Let's see, nah, it's all sticking out.
sometimes you need a little bit more expensive brushes. <laughs> See, nothing's sticking out of this one. So what I want to do is just come in with some light color like this. And then build it up a little bit. that and then I've already made some paint and I hope it's not too thin because I want to hold it up a little and then just have some of that paint run down there it goes Okay, now we need this one. I'm gonna slop it up though. Oops. A little bit down there. And make one come down here. And then I want to come in with this. That's it. Now it looks sort of grungy like. Brush, brush, brush. Ooh, I already put it in my water. Loading up my brush again. And we also want to use one down here. And let this one drip down too. Oops. This one I used. There you go. Okay. And I'm thinking maybe a drip down here too. Let's see how that works. I'll let it drip a little, people. Oops, that's a little bit too much. Yeah, that's okay. Let's just give it a little bit more. Okay. That's it. And now I'm going to come back in with the same brush. But we're going to give it a little work. I like to mix it up a little with the gray because I think it's going to give that a little interesting look. down there a little bit but maybe blue let's see yeah gotta give that a little bit of blue there it is and one up here
Okay, that's it. Now I'm really going to let it dry and we're going to, uh, the last thing I want to put on it is dots. And for that I have to mix paint, so I'll be right back. Okay, I was testing it out, but it works. It's thin enough, I guess. Maybe the blue is too thick, but we'll see. So what I'm doing is just adding dots here and there. As you can see. So we're gonna add some nice dots up there. But I also want some really bigger dots and I'm not sure how I'm going to get that done. So I'll have to think about that. That's nice. Okay, let's see if the blue is okay. Might be a little on the thick side though. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's okay. trying to make a little bit bigger ones, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get those really big ones. Although I do think they are big enough. If I do it like this. They're big enough. The raised bits in the middle, though, that, that's going to, you know, just shrink when the uh, paint dries. And if it doesn't, it's still kind of cool. Sort of adds to the uh, to the rest of the structures that you see. Let's put a few small ones in. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it. So that's uh, that's enough of that. Then I need some white. Let's see if oh, I have white. We have pre-mixed white, if I can get my bottle cap off. Yeah. I'm just not sure where the paint's going to start. Ugh. That's not good. See, I'm, I'm trying to get it out here. Ooh, ooh. This is going to be messy. Yeah, but it needs white ones. I can already see it. Just a few though, not too many. Let me pour some on here. Yep. I think we're done. Yeah, maybe one up here on that black because it's nice contrasty. Okay, we're done. That's it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And for all those people worrying about the floods, it's not here. Nowhere near where I live, so that's okay. We're, we're pretty up high. Um, where, where the floods are, that's where the mountains of Germany and, and uh, Belgium sort of come in, and we don't have mountains, so the first part where it hits Holland, that's uh, the worst. 
so uh, we're okay. And we don't live near any major rivers, so I think we're good, good to go. I do hope they find a lot of those missing people, though, because that is really, you know, if you're if you have a loved one that's missed, I think that is the worst thing that can happen to you. You just don't know, right? Okay, thanks for watching. I might do something to it though, but if I do, I'll I'll let you join in, because right now I'm thinking a little bit of whitewash over it, but we'll see. I I'm first gonna let this dry. So I hope you liked it. See you next time. Love you. Bye-bye.